Morgan was found in the ocean. Apparently, she was separated from her family. Imagine if you were a young female orca and you're living out in the ocean, having a great time, and somehow you managed to get separated from your family. Without a family, you start getting hungry. You start getting thin and then, then, da humans to the rescue. So an oceanarium in the Netherlands comes and captures you and they're gonna rehabilitate you. Morgan just didn't have a choice. She was picked up by people and people had the power to put her wherever they want to. So they bring you and plop you in captivity and feed you and take care of you the idea and under the auspices of returning you back to the ocean. But after a year or so, they decide, oh no, no, no. You're not ready to go back into the ocean. In fact, I don't think you're a candidate. There's no reason after you rehabilitate an orca to keep her because we think that we can teach the orca tricks. We can put her in an aquarium and then later on we can profit from her. This is the size of Morgan's tank. And this is the size of Morgan. What's amazing is that she's been kept in this tank for over a year. We have learned a long time ago that marine mammals in captivity are like humans in jail. Their primary sense is acoustic, ours is vision, and when you put a marine mammal, Morgan in particular, in a tank, there is no way for this creature to have a normal life. It's just barbaric that we take an animal out of the wild under the pretense of returning it once we nurse it back to health. And instead, what do we do? We incarcerate it, we torture it, and in fact, we're prostituting it. This young female, it's not even a teenager yet, is going to become breeding stock for sequariums of the world. Orcas are absolutely fascinating creatures. They are to the ocean what we are to the land. We need to respect them as the most sophisticated creature in the marine environment. The orcas, the mammals in the wild are our heroes. That's who we should look up to. Do your part to help keep this orca from spending the rest of its life in imprisonment. I think the most effective thing that we could do right now is spread the word. Go to the website, freemorgan.org. Read about it, learn about Morgan, learn what's happening. There's huge strength in numbers, and we need to communicate to the Netherlands government that this isn't right. It wasn't right from the beginning, and it isn't right now. Morgan needs to be freed. You can help us by donating, and also by making a decision to not go and see whales and dolphins in captivity. Please join me to Free Morgan by signing up on freemorgan.org. Thank you.